Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Monday. Happy post Mother's Day Monday. Hope you guys got some work in today. I know it was a rough day for some of you guys yesterday. Not rough as in time with the family. That's always good, but you guys ate a lot probably and sat around a lot, maybe drank a lot. So today might have been rough. I hope you got some work in. All right, so today let's talk a bit about belief purgatory, right? Caught in the middle of belief. Uh, I was going to try to do this while cleaning up, but can't do it. Uh, so the problem is, guys, the problem is we are stuck in the middle of our belief system, right? What do I mean by that? What do you mean by that, Coach Bobby? Well, here it is. I've been training and coaching some people for two years, three years. What's up, David? Four years, maybe. Uh, I've been writing my book, my book for two years, three years, maybe four years. We all have something that we are attempting to do that we've been doing for way longer than it should take to finish, right? So we'll use exercise as an example. The problem is, as I say in my five steps to greatness, right? Step two, belief is critical, right? Believing you can accomplish what you want, which is step one, is critical. So step one is you have to really want it, right? And sign sign the underlying contract to whatever it is you want, right? So if you want to be in shape, you want to be fit, the underlying contract to that, what's up, Kelvin, is that you have to eat properly, you have to work out, you have to be persistent. So the underlying contract to being a speaker, Coach Bobby, is doing regular check-ins, you know, signing up for scary things to talk about, you know, doing speeches, doing talks. So with, with our five steps, number one, wanting to be something has an underlying contract to that. But step two is you have to believe that you can do that, right? So if you want to be a, a super hero, you want to be a, 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 a politician, but don't believe you can do it, you won't do it, right? So belief. The problem is we are stuck in a belief system that leaves us in the middle, right? What does that mean? What that means is that we believe enough to start this journey, right? We believe enough to start working toward our dream of losing weight or working toward our dream of, of growing a business. The problem is we don't believe enough to finish it, right? And I see it all the time. It's proof in, in, my, in my workouts. There are people who come to me. If you didn't believe you could lose weight, you wouldn't start it, right? If you really didn't believe that, 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 that what, I, what I teach you works, you wouldn't start it. If you really didn't believe you could make a business work, you wouldn't start it. If you really didn't believe you could be in a relationship, you wouldn't go out dating if you really didn't believe it, right? So we believe it at some level. The problem is we don't believe it enough to follow through, right? You have failed too many diets and too many workout programs to finish. So when you start with that, 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 that small part of belief, as soon as it gets tough, you remember you failed before. So you don't believe enough to finish because if you believed it would work, you would finish. If you knew for certainty that this, that this box that had a million dollars had a combination that you could open, you would spend all day opening it, right? So when you have a, a, a fear that you won't open it, that's when you stop. So we're stuck in the middle, right? We're stuck in the middle of this belief system where we believe enough to start but don't believe enough to finish, Right, and so part of, of, of my five steps is you have to find ways. What's up, Gonzo? We have to find ways to, to nurture and feed that belief system because it's gonna get tough, guys, I promise you. It's gonna get challenging. You're gonna have days, Coach Bobby, where you feel like you can't speak, where you talk fast, where you stutter, and you're gonna think back to the times in high school and middle school when you failed, right? And so that's gonna happen. Right? So I believe enough, I believe I could be a speaker enough to continue doing this, but there are times, many, many times, where I remember when I failed in the past. I remember being laughed at. I remember being teased. And so if I stop now, that means my belief wasn't strong enough to help me finish. Right? My belief is strong enough to help me start, right? but my, my belief isn't strong enough to help me finish. So we're all caught in this, in this belief purgatory, where we're between enough to get started and between enough to finish. And so you can't leave it to chance. You have to find ways, guys, to continue the belief, 
right? Continue making good habits, right? Things you can do that you, that, that you will do regularly to make it a habit, but find ways around you, people around you, resources, books, you know, videos, motivational stuff, friends, people who help you continue the belief. Because again, if you haven't gone pretty far in your dream of losing weight, starting a business, getting a degree, whatever it is, that's because you are caught in the middle of belief, right? You believe enough to start, but not enough to finish. And so work on that. If you need help, guys, I'm starting my, my five steps to greatness. I'm doing it more and more and more. I'm going down to, to, to San Diego next week to do some official speaking training. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this message across because anything we want to do in life has the same five steps, the same five steps, right? Five steps to greatness. But step two is we have to believe enough to get it going, right? Believe enough to start, but believe enough to finish. And so if you're not finishing, if you find yourself, you know, starting a, a new diet here or workout program there or trying to write that book again or trying to start dating again or whatever it is, it's because you are caught in the middle of this belief purgatory, right? Where you have enough belief to start, but not enough to a finish. So let's work on that. Let's get in there, right? Let's start. Let's start. Let's get after it. Let's believe enough to start. I believe in that. But let's stay in there. And let's find ways to continue that belief system so that we finally finish this thing we really, really want to do in our lives. All right, guys? So hope that's helpful. Um, you know, hit me up. Reach out to me. Text me. DM me. But let's get this thing going, guys. Whatever you want to be, you can be, guys, in life. All right? Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.